You know what? We are big fans of The Witcher on this channel. Mm. I am a big fan of The Witcher on this channel. It's one of the finest gaming franchises we've got, and the books it's based on have a big following as well. And recently, there's been a lot of talk about The Witcher getting some sort of TV or movie adaptation. Well, good news, everyone. Netflix is making it happen. Polish production company Platij Image. Seen being Sean Bourne yeah. all over again, isn't it? Or is it Platij Image? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Suggestion. Platige. Image. Platige Image. It's Latin, Latin, Latin yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Platij Image. Platij Image sounds... Yeah. I'm going with Platij Image. <laughs> Polish production company Platij Image has announced that The Witcher Saga is getting a TV adaptation courtesy of Netflix. Of course they are. The announcement on their website describes the series as an English language drama based on the novels by Andrzej Szepkowski. Szepkowski, who, let's not forget, hates video games, will serve as a creative consultant on the series. It's safe to say he sounds a bit more excited about the TV adaptation than he did about The Witcher games. Yeah, that's right, because in a statement, Szepkowski said, I'm thrilled that Netflix will be doing an adaptation of my stories, staying true to the source material and the themes that I have spent over 30 years writing. That's definitely throwing some shade on the game there, isn't it? <laughs> I wrote it, my stories, 30 years. Yeah. Fuck you, CD Projekt. Of, of all the things he could have said, I'm glad they're staying true to yeah. the source material. It's like that's the only positive yeah. thing that he can say. Remember, an adaptation of my stories. <laughs> Netflix vice president of international series said, Sapkowski has created a rich and memorable world at once magical and familiar. We couldn't be more excited about bringing it to Netflix members around the world. Look, first things first, we are not suddenly a TV channel. We're not going to be reviewing Game of Thrones episodes. We are not IGN. This is gaming news. I, I don't know. I don't know the way the views are going on our videos lately. <laughs> we might have to branch out a bit, Mike. It's not a great surprise that Netflix are taking on this this book. They've done, they've done loads of book adaptations. Yep. Haven't they? And um, they're knocking them out of the park. The Witcher, one of the best well known games, series, franchises out there. Why wouldn't they? There's a little joke at the start of this video where I apparently am not a great fan of The Witcher. I, I mean, it's all right. I mean, I didn't get into it as much as everybody. Yeah. I didn't see all, all the hype is about it's it. It's because it's held up as the best from the last 10 years, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't really. I didn't. Yeah, by you. I didn't really play it that much. But I am really excited for the TV sh um, show. I'm. You know, a big fan of those types of shows. Mm. Um, a There's gritty a show, for it. Yeah. lots of nakedness in there. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait for how many boobs. Yennefer's boobs. Yeah, I Yennefer's mean, boobs. And who else was we'll in, there? To that in a minute? Triss and stuff. <laughs> That's one thing that you know, maybe not taking a lot of inspiration from the games. But if they do, they've got to bring that unicorn yeah. in, haven't they? Surely. <laughs> they've got it's an important the scene, yes. Yeah, it fits into the canon. Uh, so this guy, Andrei Sapkowski, he is a creative consultant. So I, he's got to acknowledge, well, he won't acknowledge it. He's flat out refused to acknowledge it. But the, the video games have made his books hugely popular in the West. That is a fact, and he does not he does not face that fact himself. Netflix wouldn't think about this if it wasn't for the fact that the games have been so huge. That's got to have been a, a catalyst for them. You know, that's what's drawn their attention to it, I think. That maybe it would have been made maybe, yeah. like in Polish or something. But this is only happening as an English language TV drama because of the games, in my opinion. Yeah. So he's got to let them, let the games influence the TV show a little bit. But saying that, I mean, Game of Thrones did pretty well copying the books yeah. quite yeah. well. And um, the, the games did really shit. So I don't begrudge them just going off the source material in the books rather than uh, having any sort of influence on the games. As as gamers and those who love yeah. the gaming franchise would love to see mm. their version of The Witcher represented on the TV show, but I'm pretty sure they can do a good job. There's one question I've got. If he, this guy is so dead against video games, why is TV okay? Why is he cool with television yeah. but video games? Yeah, he's yeah. a, a bit negative towards the games, isn't he, in, yeah. in, the, uh, in the interviews that he does, but he's really positive towards us. Maybe it's because when they bought the IP off him, he got one lump sum because he obviously didn't foresee how popular it was going to be. So maybe he's a bit like... <laughs> yeah, he's a bit salty. Yeah, he's very salty the fact he didn't get his money's worth. But now he, now he can sign a, yeah. a reasonable contract. He's got a to, good deal with Netflix. Yeah, so. that's it. It's all about the money, isn't it, yeah. Andre? Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, Andre. <laughs> the upcoming series has some serious talent behind it. Jason Brown and Sean Daniel, who helped adapt The Expanse books for TV, will serve as executive producers on the series. They're also doing the new Mummy movie with Tom Cruise. Tom Baginski, who directed the intro cinematics for The Witcher games, is on board to direct at least one episode per season. Not much else is known about the series at the minute, and everything sounds very early days according to those involved. Now, there's been no word about which characters will be in it yet, or importantly, 
who will be cast in the show either. There's also no release date or any info about how many actual episodes there's going to be. All we know so far is that production on the series has just started following hours of meetings according to Plat... What did we agree on? Platage? Platage. Platage. I, they've got a cast Mads Mikkelsen, I think. I've, I saw this on the internet um, before. Someone said it was like, Mads Mikkelsen would be perfect for it. If you know who Mads Mikkelsen is, educate yourself, fool. Oh, he's in uh, everything, he's in, he? he's in a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's in I, I saw, I like, I saw like a... What was it? A hand Carlsberg, Carlsberg, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. He's such a classy <laughs> fella. He's like... <laughs> Slurping that Carlsberg off his top lip like it's nothing. Anyway, Matt Smith is he's a cool guy. And uh, yeah, I saw this thing on the internet um, and uh, Liam and uh, Jake had discussed it extensively in the office as well. He would be cool. He would be perfect for this. This was before we knew about the TV series. He would be perfect as Geralt in a, in a movie or something. That's like, I think that's the official pretty good gaming um, offer. Yeah. Uh, Matt Mickelson as Geralt. Make it happen, Netflix. Yeah, if any of you have got guys have got any better ideas for yeah. who would Which make you a good Geralt. <laughs> According to Mike, you don't have any good ideas is better than Mads Mikkelsen but I I got faith in you guys let us know down in the comments who you know who would who you think would represent Geralt pretty well what's the first YouTube channel gonna come out with like top seven yeah. actors to play Geralt or whatever it is like Gamer Ranks gotta get on that shit haven't they? I, can't, I can't believe I mean we've literally just done a list video kind of about it <laughs> but it's pretty original I think it was pretty original anyway news literally broke this afternoon just after lunch on uh, Wednesday and it was like an hour later some website tweeted, <laughs> I can't remember who it was, but it was like, they tweeted, you know, six other video games that need to be, re you know, <laughs> revamped by Netflix or whatever. No, Jesus. Look out for those list videos, guys, because yeah, they're coming. All right, guys, are you excited about this? Who would you like to see cast as Geralt? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. There will be another video right here if you want to watch that, and a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. That would be great. We'll see you next time.